Hey guys, my name is here. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to deal with some problems with Razor Synapse and how to have a cool lighting effect that I use. Anyways, th this problem is whenever you install Razor Synapse and you run it, and after a while it'll just start hitting random keys and you want to install it and everything's better. So basically what you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up Razor Synapse and if you don't see it on your desktop, you can always go here if you have Windows 10 and you go to recently added or just search uh, search up a razor down here. Anyways, you want to open that up and you want to go to macros. And if you see any macros here, for example, that, all you want to do is select it and delete it. Alright, and there's something glitchy about Razor Synapse that it'll just randomly add another macro. I'm still trying to figure out how to like fix that and I've been trying to email Razor but it's not working. Anyways, now for the lighting. What I use is a black little chroma and you could use any of these. Wave is just like it looks a wave, it's really cool. It's rainbow all the times. Ripple is you hit a key and it'll just like kind of do a water droplet effect but it if you don't click any keys it's black and I don't like that and I personally use this one and the, the other ones you guys can pretty much figure out like breathing it'll just go off and on so anyways I wanted uh, I'm gonna show you how to get the effect I use which is ripple and wave or oh, static sorry so static is, is uh it stays your keyboard stays backlight and it doesn't it doesn't change in ripple is you hit a key and it will like cause a wave effect so what you want to do is if you don't see any of them selected like this I can't select it oh I can but you want to hit all and you go to static and you want to choose that apply and you can choose whatever color you want or you can in after that you want to put ripple on top or else it, it won't work and you want to go ahead go pie click all personally if you use a light color you would want to stick with some darker colors so it shows up better because it will have like a yellow and that's light so it won't really show well against light colors so what you want to do is you want to get some darker colors and what you can do to change these is you can hit the tab double click on color or just click it once and you can select a darker color from right here from black and white so after you get done with everything you just wanna go ahead and select all of them and click apply and then you can just it was out so yeah that was a, just a pretty quick tutorial and I had the problem with the macros for months I thought I had a virus or something. Anyways, thanks for listening. Bye.